Can you build iPhone and Android apps using the Apple Vision Pro? And that's what this video is all about. I'm not sure how long this is gonna take, so let me sip my coffee because last night I found out the hard way that you can't drink something with the headset on. Cool, so this is the Vision OS homepage and I'm gonna try to build an app using an app building tool called Flutterflow. Flutterflow is a drag and drop app building tool that can be accessed from pretty much any browser. So Flutterflow works on all major web browsers and the one that's natively supported by the Vision Pro is Safari. So I have opened a Safari browser and it looks like it's this 2D plane that's kind of hovering right in front of me. Um, pretty cool. Um, our website looks really, really good in it, but let's find out how intuitive interacting with user interfaces is. Um, as you can see, when I look at different elements on my page, uh, the elements actually light up. So right now I'm looking at browse programs and it's kind of lit up. And then as I scroll to the bottom and I look at other things, right now I'm looking at the purple learn more and it's lighting up. And now I'm looking at the orange learn more and it's lighting up. So wherever my pupils are making direct contact with is where the interface thinks I want to engage. So if I click on Academy and pinch my fingers, it will actually go to that page. Fantastic. So I have the hang of how to use the interface for general web computing, but now let's find out if we can go build apps with Flutterflow. Fantastic, so the UI here looks pretty good. I'm gonna click sign in, and here I'm gonna authenticate into my Flutterflow account. I may have to sign in with Google, because I logged in with Google, so let's see if it can detect that, okay. Fantastic, so I'm authenticated into Flutterflow. And let's go into an app that I've been building uh, for the Ambitious Labs Academy, and that's called the AI Assistant app. Okay, so I scroll down using my pinch motion here, and I'm trying to look really hard at the AI Assistant app, and when I pinch, I actually didn't see it light up, but I just guessed that it was looking at the right thing, and it did take me to the right place. Beautiful, so I'm gonna try to expand this by looking at the bottom right and making it bigger. Okay, so I can make this kind of big. Okay, wow, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so right in front of me, I have this beautiful Flutterflow interface that's opened up on Safari. It honestly looks fantastic. Um, I'm imagining a workflow where here I could have Flutterflow and then here I could have Figma so that I could look back and forth and copy my UI design from Figma to Flutterflow pretty seamlessly. Uh, let's give that a shot and set up a development workflow. However, there's no Figma app available right now for Vision OS, but the beauty behind the Ambitious Labs tech stack is that everything's available in the browser. So let's give this a shot. Let's open up a Figma file from within Safari and see if we can get a window to go from here to here and have two concurrent windows open where I could literally just copy my design back and forth. Okay, so first I'm going to open up a new tab in Safari. Then I'm gonna quickly escape my immersion mode so I can go to my desktop here and copy a link from Figma. Okay, now I'm gonna go back and fully immerse myself in the spatial computing environment. And I'm gonna see if I can just paste the link to Figma and just hit go. And look at that, I can. How beautiful. That's one thing that I love about Apple products is that they do a really good job of the seamless transition between devices. I literally just went to my MacBook Pro, I copied a link and just hit Control C. It saved that link in a shared clipboard and I literally was able to just go here into my Vision Pro and just paste that exact same link. I mean, that's where I believe Apple is gonna win and that's the reason I'll never bet against Apple is because the average consumer has multiple Apple devices and the seamless integration between all the Apple devices is what makes the workflow so efficient. All right, so now I'm in my public Figma file. This is a Figma file that we're using inside the Dreams and Apps Academy. Our students are actively like cloning this exact UI kit, uh, modifying it to be their own and building their own apps off of it. This is one of the many UI kits that we offer our students. Okay, so it looks like the only way I can zoom is by using the zoom menu here at the top. I wanna click zoom to 100, there we go. Okay, now I can kind of navigate through my app. Okay, beautiful, I'm starting to see my app UI here, awesome. And here in Figma, I have my onboarding flow design. Let's make this bigger. 
Gorgeous. This is looking great. Okay. So now I have Flutterflow here and Figma over here, and I literally could just start slapping this together. Interacting with these UIs has been tough. My arm is starting to hurt because I've had to keep it so elevated, but I'm honestly pretty excited to see how this pans out. Okay, so right now I'm trying to click on the second item in the menu so I can go to my page, but my eyes are really struggling to click on the right thing. Okay, and I can't really reach over there. So here, let me see if I can bring this closer to me. Okay, yeah, I can bring this closer. Okay, now I can tap maybe. Oh, wow, okay, cool. And I can bring this down. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so it's actually a lot more intuitive if I make it bigger and move it right in front of me. So now I can kind of use it as this pane right in front of me. Okay, so we'll go to onboarding step one, grade level. Beautiful, so what is my grade level? And then this is what my Figma design is here. So, okay, so there I see what grade are you in, and here I see what is your grade level. Uh, let's try to modify the text, shall we, and see what the interface looks like. So I'll click on text to activate that widget. Um, and I may need to activate it here in the widget tree as well. So boom, uh, text this one. Okay, gorgeous. And then right here, I'm gonna modify the uh, text element. Okay, uh, my keyboard is not showing up. Where is my keyboard? How do I get the keyboard to come out? Oh, there it is. So now we can say, okay, so let's modify this text to be the same thing that I have here in Figma. Oh, Figma keeps crashing, no. And I believe in Apple. I believe in the technology. I believe that this will sort itself out. Figma won't crash or soon they're gonna have a Vision Pro OS optimized Figma app. Um, but I'll give it the benefit of the doubt for right now. I'm not too worried about it because this is really cool. Look at this interface. So what, so let's keep this piece of text activated. Okay, uh, text active. Okay, uh, okay, cool. And I see what? what okay now we're going to tap on what right here and hopefully the keyboard pops up and we'll say what grade are you in wow okay so i i modified the wrong thing it looks like they're both being updated to the same so so here i'm going to say what grade are you in Okay, beautiful. And this bottom guy, I'm gonna change this to, okay, hopefully the keyboard pops up here. And then here I'm gonna say, select your grade. Boom. Awesome. So there's some obvious difficulties navigating like small interactions with the UI, but honestly, this workflow is really darn cool where I could have Figma open up here and then Flutterflow here. I was seeing a lot of problems when Flutterflow was really far away. Like if I were to take this window and put it there, this is when Flutterflow becomes very hard to use. Like I can't actually build an app because there's so many small details on the Flutterflow interface that my eyes can't actually select it really well. But if I grab it and bring it close to my face here, now it becomes like this beautiful pane. I could have it out right in front of me and I just have this amazing plane to work with where I could just click around and tap things. This is honestly so cool and I'm super excited to be at the forefront of this. Vision Pro, you have really amazed me. I really think that we can build apps, but it might take a little bit more time for the technology to evolve and for some of these apps to come on Vision OS and be available for developers. I think right now is a fantastic time to be getting into the software space. The Vision Pro is creating brand new territories for developers to go in and create completely uncontested products. Make sure you like and subscribe for more content just like this. I'll see you in another video.